to AEF TV uh, in association with Engerati. I'm joined now by His uh, Excellency, the Honourable Matuma Mikasa. I hope I pronounced the, yeah, your, exactly. your, name, yeah, yeah. your name correctly. Uh, from Ethiopia, uh, just to put it all into context. And uh, firstly, welcome to AEF. Thank uh, you. It's nice to have you here. Thank and you. Uh, just in this interview, can you give us a little bit of a flavour of what, about what the energy landscape is like in Ethiopia? What are some of the challenges that you're facing? Yeah, actually in Ethiopia, uh, we have a big potential for energy development uh, from different sources. Uh, for example, from hydropower, from uh, wind, from solar and from geothermal. Uh, as a country, you have uh, big, big potential, but uh, controversially, we, we don't have uh, much energy to supply to our community. Uh, nowadays, especially in the rural areas, uh, we, we didn't make access to electricity, all our people. So in Ethiopia, we have, we have the potential, big potential, but still we have to develop much to, 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 to address our people, uh, not only the household consumption for, for, for the uh, economic growth in Ethiopia is uh, very, very high, very, very booming. Uh, so we have to supply energy for the industries, for uh, be it big industries, medium industries, small industries, and, and, and this is very important. And uh, we are giving focus for energy development in Ethiopia. So, so you've got a big challenge. So, because uh, in some of the reading that I've been doing is uh, within Ethiopia, like you said, you've got the hydro potential and everything. So. In an ironic way, the generation potential is fairly simple. It's actually evacuating the electricity to where it needs to go. So, uh, you know, I was reading up some reports around, you know, it, it seems like one of your biggest issues is the transmission and distribution network. Is that correct? Uh, partly correct, but actually we have a problem also in the, in, in, in the power generation. Uh, for example, currently as a country we have about uh, installed capacity of uh, 4,200 4, megawatt, but, but the demand shows are very big, uh, roughly about, about, about 8,000 megawatt currently uh, is requested in Ethiopia to, to, to supply for, for the economy. Uh, so, uh, mainly as you said, we have a problem on the transmission line, on, on uh, distribution areas, but also we have a problem in the, the, the generation part also. So how are you but, solving this? But we this? have to make all this together. Yeah. 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 How That's are you very... solving this? I mean, are you going down the route where, uh, you know, increasingly, especially in Africa, because, some of, because of some of the long distances and, uh, you know, industries like mining, which require local energy mm. right there and there, are you going uh, more towards that distributed energy model where uh, you know so that it's not necessarily like we have in Europe you're running whacking great big transmission lines you're trying to solve it in local areas is, is that part of the plan yeah actually what we are doing it is now morally we, we as a country we focus on the power generation part we have a lot of projects under construction and we have a lot of plan to have uh, projects in the country uh, in fact we have uh, plan, five years plan, growth and transformation plan of the country. In this uh, planning period, we have uh, the plan for power generation, we have a plan for the transmission line, we have a plan to construct substations, distributions, and all are included in the plan. So what we are doing is now, we have a mega project, this, uh, like, like Gurney Tut and Resus Dam, which is a big one, and uh, we have also another Because project. that's really huge, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's very it. huge, actually. Yeah. Our plan is not to consume all the energy that we are going to produce in the country. You want to export it? Yeah, yeah, we are, yeah. We are going to export it and that is very, very, very attractive. That is very important for the regional, you know, for the regional interconnection. Because you've got the power pool, right? Yeah, so you power want to play, pool, yeah, play yeah. in that. That yeah. helps us, number one, to create revenue for the country. Number two, in the, the major part, it, it, it creates stable in the region, peaceful in the region because if you share the same source of infrastructure then everybody every country think about that infrastructure so this this it by itself creates peace in the region so we are doing in that and we have a plan to do that also. And, uh, just because i know you've got uh, you've got other things uh, to uh, to do it's just like that so uh, you know, I've been covering AEF for three years now, and, uh, and uh, every country has uh, uh, um, has these plans, and I'm seeing a lot of progression. But uh, what are still, 
I mean, you're here for a reason. So, you know, what are the things Ethiopia needs mm -hmm. from the rest of the world in terms of technology investment or yeah, whatever yeah. you know so, so can you talk a little bit more about uh, you know what are you trying to get yeah. and what do you need to do in order to get that in yeah thank you very much actually uh, you know that we are lately started development in all sectors in Ethiopia. we are late uh, behind you'll so, catch up yeah, quick, don't yeah. worry. so now <laughs> what we are doing is uh, to, to learn the experience of other countries the, to learn how other countries are developed the energy sector, especially focusing on the renewable energy. So having this, learning the experience, how others are doing in the, this sector development, also uh, this is big, big development, you know, to, 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 to develop the power, to generate the power is not easy, at least the finance, okay? That, that's very important. So yes. In that part, the government only cannot uh, all the projects cannot be covered by the government. So we are looking at other so investors the PP who are mechanisms coming, yeah, and stuff PP, like that. Yeah. IPP, these yeah. independent power producers, mm. uh, public-private partnership, PPP, all these modalities. Mm. So how can we go about This is one which we are going to learn from, from this type of forum, uh, this uh, African uh, Energy Forum, and also on other forums we, we are trying to learn and, uh, and implement in, in my country and uh, uh, because we're kind of coming to the end of our time here and we are at Africa Energy Forum uh, who kindly hosts me every year uh, uh, at the event can I just ask you you know you mentioned a little bit of what you're looking for but, but can you give me an example of like one or two other things that you're hoping to get out of you know these three days you've got in London and with all the investors here and financiers and everything yeah what I expect is you know Number one, to have experience how others are doing in other African countries, including other, other countries in, in the world. The second one is uh, I, I, I try to communicate with so many investors, companies who are working on the uh, energy sector development. And we, we have to create a link with these companies who are, who are who have a good profile to work in the uh, energy sector. And, and also a track record in Africa, right? Because there is a certain different dynamic yeah. of, of, yeah, of, of yeah, working yeah. at the continent. Yeah, everything is moving. Yeah. So, so, so that is why, and uh, first of all, you know, we, we are, we are, we are uh, our, our economy has started developing for the last 15, 20 years. And uh, we have uh, a lot of problems, a lot of uh, infrastructural gaps, uh, one of which is uh, now the energy. We have energy deficit. Uh, every, everything nowadays needs energy. Every needs to who needs to supply power. But so if you're gonna keep yeah, up yeah, your growth, working you need, on power yeah. supply is very important. It is a bloodline of an economic development. So having that, we have to work with the world. We have to work uh, the, the, with all 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 stakeholders in this area, with the government, private sectors, and other networking activities. And this can support us and push forward for our development. That is perfect. And, uh, and thank you very thank much you. for joining, uh, joining us thank today. You. I hope you meet these people. I hope next year you can sit here and say, hey, this is yeah, what yeah, I did. Thank, what, you. What thank, you, very much. Uh, thank, thank you. you as well for watching. This has been an interview from uh, Africa Energy Forum in London uh, 2016 for uh, Africa Energy Forum and the Angerati Network. Thanks again.